Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Todd Carley. The man accused of torturing his wife for two days will wait another day to be arraigned. Lucas Webby was supposed to be in court today, but that was postponed. Yesterday, officials at the downtown jail said that Webby was taken to Kern Medical Center, but no details have been released. Webby's arraignment is now set for tomorrow afternoon, and his bail is $1 million. He's accused of punching, kicking, strangling, and beating a woman repeatedly with a baseball bat over a two-day period. Webby's friends identify that woman as his wife. Deputies found methamphetamine and marijuana inside Webby's home and Webby hiding inside a closet when they arrested him. He faces charges of attempted murder, torture, spousal abuse, child cruelty, and drug possession, just to name a few. 23 ABC's Christine Din is live outside the courthouse after discovering he's a repeat offender when it comes to domestic abuse. Christine. Well, that's right, Jackie. We spoke to one of Webby's exes who says she's just one of many of his abuse victims. He would strangle me. He would hold me by the throat. He would hold things over my head, threaten to kill me um, if I ever left. This woman who does not want to be identified says her relationship with Lucas Webby was not about romance, but abuse. When he wanted to be in control all the time. He wanted to be dominant in the relationship at all times. She says he would snap for no reason and assault her and their infant son. He beat him so severely um, that his entire face was completely busted up. She and their son even had to file a restraining order. But she says they were not the only victims. From what he had told me, um, that he did assault um, the three previous women that he had children with um, prior to me. And um, he would laugh and joke about it and, and blame it on them. CEO of the Alliance Against Family Violence and Sexual Assault, Lewis Gill, says more than 85% of abusers in domestic violence relationships are men. That individuals will continue with the same behavior unless they get help or change or incarcerated. So unless the system intervenes, individuals will continue to hurt others. Lucas has a criminal history of spousal abuse. And each time it's progressively got worse. Um, my concern is that the next victim will end up dead. Lucas pled no contest and was dismissed in his last two domestic violence cases. This issue needs to be addressed and I don't think that he needs to be um, allowed to plea down whatever charges he has because it's obvious. I mean, he was released early from this last uh, term in, in jail and look what's happened and it's only progressively got worse. Gill says in the meantime, victims can turn to the Alliance for counseling or planning a safe escape. There's also an emergency shelter. We'll make sure that you're safe. It's a secure location. Nobody needs to know you're there. We can help. Please reach out. You don't have to be alone in this. Now, law enforcement has not released the medical status of Webby's latest victim. Now, if you are in a relationship that's abusive, you are urged to call the Alliance's abuse hotline at 327-1091. Reporting from downtown Bakersfield, I'm Christine Din, 23 ABC.